today, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about films that are so bad, they're actually good. Now, a lot of people have done these types of videos on YouTube. I'm not taking anybody's opinions. This is my own personal opinion. If you don't like it, then, hey, I don't know. <laughs> you have problems, I guess. Um, but today I'm talking about the funniest films that are so bad, they're actually good. All right, so one of them has to be one of my personal favorites, Jaws 3D. Jaws 3D is an 80s film. Uh, it's one of the early films that used 3D glasses. You know, it was this big 3D era. They thought 3D was so big and a big hit, a massive hit. And they thought it was going to be this big, awesome movie. Unfortunately, it got panned by critics and was laughably bad. However, Jaws 3D is not as bad as Jaws the Revenge, and there are some enjoyable moments in the movie. For example, the glasses. I got the Blu-ray, so I came. it came with three, uh, 3D glasses. So you watch that bad boy, and it's actually quite fun. It's entertaining and enjoyable. Jaws 3D has horrible characters, horrible writing, horrible effects. It's just a laughable bad movie, but I enjoy it for what it is. Another film that is so bad it's actually good has to be Nicolas Cage in The Wicker Man. I personally haven't seen this film. I have seen a couple clips off of YouTube, and I just gotta tell you guys, this movie blows. This movie blows pigs. That's how bad it is. Nicolas Cage gives off a hilarious performance. This performance is hilarious. It's so funny. It's, uh, it's just, it's so, uh, just energetic, and you really see his performance in the film. He goes, woo, woo, woo. give me that, give me that. He's just so serious, and it, I don't know. And oh, by the way, guys, you like my haircut? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, he's just so serious all the time, and I don't understand why he's all so serious. Why so serious? The movie was panned, of course, by critics. Critics hated this film. Fans hated the film, too, but it became a cult phenomenon. Um, it became a cult classic because it was just so bad. People love it. And of course, another film that is so bad that it's good, Trolls 2. Now this film, I personally have never seen. I've seen a couple clips. It has that classic meme, they're eating her and now they're eating me. Oh my God. Yeah, it's, it's really funny. And, um, that's my next pick. The final pick I'm talking about today, guys, you know what it is. I know what it is. It's the one and only 2003 film, The Room. This movie is the epitome of bad. This film is garbage. It is terrible. It feels like a 10-year-old took a camera and started filming. The acting is horrible. The writing is horrible. The, the whole plot, the, you know, the, the plot, um, you know, everything is so terrible. Um, you have so many plot errors, so many writing errors. It's just a mess, but it's fun. And so fun that people watch this movie every single year at events, at movie theaters, because it's so freaking awesome. Watching Tommy Wiseau walk around with his bare butt sticking out is hilarious. And um, it's become a classic you know, I'm on people because it's so much fun to watch because of how horrible and laughably bad it is. Do you agree with my picks, ladies and gentlemen? These are just a couple of my picks. There's so many bad films out there that are good, but these are just a couple of my favorite films that are so bad that they're good. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, do whatever the heck you want to do, and goodbye. Bye, everyone.